And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Temperatures were above average to the western part of the country, but over the eastern half, a little cool down with temperatures running about 5 to 10 degrees below normal with highs being in the 60s in the upper Midwest, 70s down in the lower Great Lakes. But we are going to be gradually warming up as we turn the trend into next week. And it looks like a big change, a nice strong air of flow of well above average temperatures coming into the central and eastern part of the country. As for today, a little few clouds rolling through the area, a breeze coming in out of the north from Canada, nice dry air, but it was a cooler day outside. And after having highs in the mid 80s just a couple days ago, looking at high temperatures in the mid 60s, I mean, that feels a little bit of a shocker to your system. 64 right now with northeast winds at 10 miles per hour, but it is that dry air. So you could open up the windows and get some fresh air inside your homes. Uh, sunset tonight is just before 8:30. We are only in the 50s along the shoreline. 51 in Kiwani, 53 in Manitowoc, and also in Ephraim. A little farther inland, we are closer towards 70 degrees in Wapaka, 66 in Watoma, and 65 in Clintonville, and also in Shawano. Very dry air mass in place with that strong Canadian high pressure rolling right in here. But the dew points, they are going to start to rise as we get towards Monday and Tuesday that appear to be the most humid days over the next seven days. So at least it's a short period of time of humid weather, and then we should be staying more comfortable afterwards. But right now, quiet conditions, lots of clear skies out there. We've got a strong high pressure in store, but eventually the clouds are going to start to build in here. We've got an area of low pressure right now moving across the Rockies. This is going to extend a warm front into our area once this high moves eastward. That's going to spark off a few showers and thunderstorms into our area as we get into Monday afternoon and Monday evening. Until then, expect lots of clear skies overnight tonight as temperatures will fall down into the 30s and lower 40s. Tomorrow is going to be another beautiful day and also it will be warmer. We're talking about highs back up into the upper 60s and lower 70s. But watch what happens as we get into Monday. Clouds start to build in here and we do have a few showers and scattered thunderstorms that will start to develop. And matter of fact, with these showers and storms, some of these could be on the marginally severe side. We do have a marginal risk of severe weather for areas along and westward of the I-41 corridor and this does include the Fox Valley. So for tonight, our temperatures dropping down to 40 degrees in Green Bay, but areas to the west where that frost advisory that in fact could have some patchy frost with temperatures cooler into the mid and lower 30s. Very light winds out of the southwest at 5 miles per hour. Tomorrow climbing up to 72 degrees, lots of sunshine, winds out of the southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour and feel a little warmer outside. And also we continue that stretch. Take a look 74 on Monday, 87 on Tuesday. There will be locations in Wisconsin that get above 90 degrees, but then that cold front moves through and temperatures do settle down into the lower 80s Wednesday and Thursday and even cooler temperatures by next weekend on Saturday. Abby. All right, thanks, Gina.